the second experiment that we are having is IF tuned amplifier the one that we see here this is called as an IF tuned amplifier where there is an amplifier section which has been tuned to an intermediate frequency that's why it is called as IF tuned amplifier the intermediate frequency IF is basically 455 kilohertz so this IF tuned amplifier has been designed for 455 kilohertz now if you would try to look at the circuit the circuit can be divided into basically two components as I said an amplifier and an IF tuned section well this is the tuning section this L and C parallel tan circuit will produce a frequency of 455 kilohertz and the rest that you see here is basically the amplifier section including the transistor and the biasing circuit which is given by R2 and R1 voltage divider these capacitance are basically the bypass and the coupling capacitors and RL is the load across which we try to take the input so when we are trying to design an IF tune amplifier it is important to def the design the amplifier first that is to design R2, R1 and RE values for this particular transistor and for making it an IF tuned amplifier we have to design the LC tank circuit and that is what the next experiment is all about so how do we do it how do we design it whenever we look into a amplifier section as I had previously drawn the amplifier section basically consists of R2, R1, RE and the transistor BF194 we have to first understand what is the need for R2, R1 R2, R1 voltage divider is basically for biasing the transistor BF194 now what do we mean by biasing well this is an amplifier which is a common emitter amplifier and if we try to look at the output of this transistor BF194 you will see that the output basically is a collector current of 1 milliamps and since the current that is flowing through here is majority as compared to the IB current that is flowing through here so the IE current will be approximately equal to IC this we have already studied in transistor and also we know that the base current can be found out if we already have decided what is the IC current so as you can see here the IC current we have decided to be 1 milliamps now here the graph that you see here the IC current is having different values this graph is of a different transistor anyway this can be used to explain the amplification that is being done by BF194 now this is the output characteristic of BF194 when connected in the CE configuration why is it called the output characteristic because it is basically the characteristic of the CE voltage and the output current IC now this output characteristics can be basically divided into three regions the active region the cutoff region and the third gray area that you see here the saturation region when we are trying to make the transistor work as a switch it has to basically switch between the saturation region and the active region but here basically the transistor is working as a amplifier so it has to work in the active region now where should it be when I say that it should work I have to fix a point I have to fix an operating point a point where it operates 
suppose this is an operating point that we have fixed what is the meaning of fixing an operating point is that you have fixed the VCE voltage to be in this voltage almost and the current to almost be this much and how do you fix these values well you fix this VCE value and uh, this IC value by basically controlling RE, R1 and R2 R1, R2 will help you fix the value of IB so any one of these blue lines can be fixed with the help of R2, R1 resistor voltage bias so that will give you a value of IB and that IB will generate a particular value of IC so R2, R1 will help you fix this particular value of IC whereas the IC current that is flowing through this will not have any drop across this tank circuit it will have a drop only across this resistor the emitter resistor RE so if you are able to calculate the value of RE such that out of VCC a certain portion drops across C and E to give the CE voltage then you can fix the value of C that's how we set an operating point and every transistor which is working as an amplifier has to have this condition of fixing its operating point what is the effect of it or how do we you know do it so we can have a look at this particular value or this particular circuit section that means let me draw it this particular section if I am trying to make a KVL out of it if I am trying to put a KVL for this particular network that I am having here this particular loop that I am having here then I can find out the value of RE so first we have to design uh, decide certain things when I said that the operating point should be somewhere in the active region let us say that the operating point is fixed at VC is equal to 60 percent of VCC now s VCC we have selected here to be 12 volt so 60 percent of 12 volt has to drop here and 40 percent has to drop here because there is nowhere else where the drop can take place here there can be no drop here and here are the only two places where drop can take place so 40 percent of drop has to happen here so when I write the KVL when I write the KVL I write this equation because VCC is equal to VCE plus IE RE and IE I already know is almost equal to IC which is 1 milliamps from this equation I can find out the value of RE so by finding out the value of RE I have fixed the value of VC uh, sorry uh, I have fixed the value of VCE to be approximately 60 percent next I have to fix the value of R1 R2 for that let me take another loop so let me first erase all the other inks and then let me take the loop the loop that I'm going to consider for this case is this one so in this one as you can see we have found out already the value of RE here in this loop it will be VCC is equal to 12 so VCC is equal to 10 times IB into R2 that is the voltage drop across R2 plus VBE the voltage drop here which we know is 0 0.7 and then the voltage drop across this RE which we already know is IE RE so we can straight away write that here so from this we can find out the value of R2 now you might be wondering why did I write 10 IB here or why did I say that it is 10 IB what we are expecting is that out of the current that is flowing here 
in this let's say that it is 10 IB then out of that IB current will flow towards the base and the rest 9 IB will flow towards the R1 resistance so next after this loop is over or after I have found out the value of R2 next I have to found out find out the value of R1 so for that what should we do for that we have to take this loop so when I write the KVL for this loop I will have 9 IB into R1 is equal to VBE voltage here and VRE voltage across this resistance RE so from that we know VBE is 0 0.7 and VRE is the voltage drop across this which we have already found out here so I can easily calculate the value of R1 so calculate the value of R2 and R1 and we will fix the value so the transistor biasing is done we have fixed the operating point and the amplifier section design is over next once the operating point has been decided we connect the input voltage this input voltage that we are having here this input voltage that we are having here that is to be amplified now how does it amplify the voltage that we are having here will basically send a current IB to the base of the transistor which will result in a current IC now already IB is flowing here some extra current will flow through this what will happen here I can say that the operating point which I had fixed will slightly change so if I am giving an sinusoidal voltage so a small change sinusoidal IB current will change so now the IB current is suppose 30 microamps there will be a small change in that so let's say a sinusoidal change happens so if a sinusoidal change happens like this then according to according to the graph you know IC will change from this point all the way to this point so previously when the IC was having this value now it will change between these two levels so a sinusoidal voltage here that is a changing sinusoidal voltage will bring an IB which is changing because of which the IC that is coming will change sinusoidally in fashion the thing here is that IB is changing in microamps whereas IC is changing in milliamps so a small current change in the base is leading to a large current change in IC and that's how amplification is done next let us see if see if this amplification is carried on then if I'm trying to look at the input voltage the input voltage with respect to frequency suppose I have given a frequency of say 100 kilohertz here so I will get a frequency here and I will get a frequency here so these are the two you know this is the frequency axis so these are the two lines which represent 100 kilohertz now if this LC tank circuit is not there and if this is a simple connection then when I am trying to change the input voltage all the way from 10 kilohertz to a higher frequency the output will also change throughout the frequency so input whatever input frequency I am giving here that much same frequency but in a magnified or in an amplified fashion I will get at the output here but when I can you know put this particular tuned circuit which is having a tuning frequency which is given by f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root LC I will find that the output is not the output is not as I have seen here in the case of an amplifier here as I was changing the input voltage all the way from here to here the output voltage was also changing and it was not having any amplitude difference 
but because of the presence of this tuned circuit LC I will find out that as I am changing the input the output voltage amplitude changes so at certain frequencies it is large and at certain frequencies it is low the largest will happen at the tuned frequencies of the tank circuit which we have taken it to be the IF uh, that is the intermediate frequency of 455 kilohertz so 455 kilohertz will occur here and below that frequency and at above that frequency I will find that the amplification is less that's why this is called as a tuned amplifier because this amplifier has been tuned to operate in certain region only not in all the regions that we had seen here so when I try to plot the amplification here the amplification will be this much slowly the amplification will rise it will reach here and then it will come here the aim of the experiment is to design the tuned amplifier and get a curve like this in the frequency spectrum how do I do it so let me look at the readings then only I will understand how do I do it so the input voltage we will fix it at 30 millivolt the input voltage that is being given at the base is 300 millivolt and the frequency is changing so I will have changing frequencies so let me say that the frequency is going to change I am going to write all those values here and with that I am going to look at the output voltage and I will be able to calculate the gain of the amplifier if I take output voltage by input voltage and we know in dB the gain will be given by 20 log V0 by input voltage V in and we will start from a frequency let's say 300 kilohertz and we will go all the way to higher frequencies and we will see what is the voltage here we will find that slowly it is increasing and it will reach the peak at 455 voltage and then it will slowly s the output voltage will slowly start to go down as I go to even higher voltage and then for from that if I calculate the gain which is output voltage that I have got here divided by the input voltage which is fixed 300 millivolt I will get the gain value here and I can plot that in the form of a graph where frequency is the axis where I will be using these values and the corresponding gain that I have got in those frequencies with that I will plot this graph and that was the aim of the experiment and from this graph I will try to calculate the Q factor or the quality factor which is basically the resonant frequency divided by the bandwidth we know that the bandwidth is given by is suppose this is some gain minus 3 dB of that we will take and we will try to find out what is the bandwidth here and the resonant frequency is the center frequency which we know is 455 kilohertz so 455 kilohertz divided by the bandwidth will give us the quality factor of the tuned amplifier that is the experiment